friends welcome to blogmas day 16 i hope you are very well today i am doing a book haul with many interesting books that i found in the this last month so the first book i have is this novella by agatha christie and i was very intrigued when i heard about it because it is not a short story it's longer than that so it is not in my book with uh, all the complete Poirot stories it is a novella and it is the basis for Dead Man's Folly. And in this book, Mrs. Ariadna Oliver calls Poirot and tells him to come to Devonshire as soon as possible because she has the intuition that something horrible is about to happen and it has to do with the Greenshaw Folly, a uh, really a strange architectural embarrassment in the middle of the very impressive Greenshaw house. So it sounds really intriguing. The cover is creepy, but it is really interesting. And I am really excited to start reading this book. It is not so long, so I hope I can read it in December, at the end of December, when I, when I have more time. I am looking forward to it. The second book is Escape into Cottage Core. I am really interested in Cottage Core. I think it can make life cozier and I love the aesthetic and I would love to learn more about it and maybe use some of the things that are written in this book to make life cozier. It is about rediscovering simple joys and, and it gives you practical inspiration and advice. So I'm, I cannot wait to start reading this book and learning about it. The next book is The Country Child by Alison Adley. And this is the book by the Comfort Club hosted by the lovely Miranda Mills and her mother Donna. And I've been waiting for this book to arrive because I am really looking forward. I cannot wait to read it and to enjoy this book and then to participate in the discussion that Miranda will be having in her channel. It It is really big and there is a chapter for Christmas Day I am really especially looking forward to this chapter. It is about Susan Garland, a very imaginative and solitary little girl who lives on a remote hill farm deep in the countryside. Next, I have this book by Georgette Heyer, Footsteps in the Dark. I have gotten this book for Clock and Dagger Christmas. This is the group read. The discussion has already taken place but I am nevertheless excited to read this book. I've read some Georgette Heyer books this year and I really like them. And so I am very curious to see how is a mystery by her. The books that I've read are uh, Regency romances. And so I am really looking forward to start this book and enjoy a mystery that happens at Christmas time. It is about three siblings, Peter, Margaret and Celia, who have inherited a country house, the Priory. But the villagers say that there is a ghostly figure in the halls of the old house, and they don't know if the house is haunted or if someone is trying to scare them away. I love when siblings or friends are the protagonists of a story. I love books that take place in a village and in a mansion on the countryside, so this is perfect for me. Then the next book is 50 Words for Snow by Nancy Campbell. This book shares the meanings behind 50 words for snow gathered around the world. I love the cover. And I thought this would be really appropriate for the season. I, I am looking forward to, to feel all the winter vibes and also Christmassy vibes. And the last book is this romantic comedy, There's Something About Christmas. I've uh, already read a novella by this author, David McComber. I didn't know her before reading the, the novel, the novella. And I, I like it. I, I enjoy it. It was a nice read for Christmas. And so I'm hoping, because this is a complete book, uh, that I have more of that, what I read, the Christmas device, a really cute romantic couple and a really nice setting uh, and it sounds fantastic. So Emma is a journalist who has to interview the finalists in a Christmas cake contest, but she has to fly to the place and there she has to deal with the pilot Oliver Hamilton, who is a Scrooge. And Emma is hoping that her holiday nightmare will turn into a Christmas dream. 
It sounds fantastic. Uh, have you read any of these books? Did you like them? I would love to know if you have also gotten some books for Christmas, for the holidays. And the first one is the tea calendar. Let's start. Number 16. Hibiscus, apple, cinnamon, rose petals. I think I have already had this tea because I think they are like 15 different teas. And now let's see the candle calendar. Number 16. Yeah, here. Also white again. Hmm. I think I already have this. And now let's let's see the jam calendar. Number 16. I am very glad about this calendar. Okay, number 16. Ah, oh, that was easy. It's so beautiful if you watch it I love this it's really happy and bright okay so this is sweet orange and passion fruit it sounds delicious let's try it I don't smell passion fruit but orange Mm -hmm. yeah it tastes like orange and passion fruit i like it i wish you a wonderful day and i will be seeing you again tomorrow with another vlogmas video bye